Adam wow, we've, <laughs> we've slipped all the way through to this phase of the draft as well. So, I mean, Shadow Demon Dream Protector, it's a good amount of control, but it's not a lot of damage to be able to quickly pick off the likes of a Weaver. So you're going to need to commit some cores through to make sure that you're able to take down this Weaver who can, again, be very greedy. Na'Vi have three heroes that are great at delaying the game out and pushing out lanes a little bit further. So mm. I'm... Uh, I'm a little bit worried for Team Spirit again. I mean, they, they have great, obviously, def defense and team fight, but again, if your damage is slow, and if your damage is, well, at the moment, it feels kind of bursty with the Queen of Pain and the Shadow Demon, Wraith King seems like the perfect pick to me. I feel like some weird pick's gonna come out for Collapse, because like, in my head, I'm trying to run my head through his heroes, like Slaughter um, could be okay, Centaur could be okay, Tide could be, Tide could be fine. Um, I don't think... I actually think really like that Slaughter, actually. Yeah, that's... I was about to say, we never really see Slaughter. The, these are probably the two teams that do still go ahead and pick the Slaughter, and oof, we get to see our second Underlord of the day. Yeah, so that should win his lane really hard. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, I don't think I've seen him play it before. Mm, Has he? He's played it before, just not super recently. Yeah, like recent. Mm, I mean, it's, it's good, again, like, it's going to... Nullify some of the damage that Wraith King's able to do. It's against a strength hero, so that's obviously great with the Firestorm, percentage-based damage. You're able to bully him out of the lane. You can... I mean, it's it's a little bit of delay for your own team as well. And it's not like they don't have good um, taking potential for high ground. Like, Wraith King eventually can do a, a good amount in pretty quick fashion. Do you know what I hate, though, about Spirit's lineup? I can... Obviously, their team Spirit, they know what they're doing with their yeah, draft, but, like... I just see no playmaking potential. I think last game between like Queen of Pain, Conquer, and Sand King, all three of them were just constantly so mobile and doing they stuff can and do. making yeah, yeah. yeah and making plays. They were able to be wherever they wanted on the map. That is so not possible for the likes of Underlord and Shadow Demon and stuff. Like Queen of Pain, sure she'll be able to do it, but yeah. They have zero stuns right now. They yeah, no stuns, no like blink initiation. Plenty of roots. It looks hard mm. to to execute. Yeah. I mean, we could see a, I don't want to see a, a greedier style of bit. It's just a different style of it. Like, we should yeah. see some Lotus Orbs come out from Na'Vi to eventually be able to counter out the roots from the uh, the Pit of Malice, from the Overgrowth. Y just because BKB, it's not enough to be able to withstand everything that they're going to be throwing your way. So, mm. we'll see how Team Spirit are looking to round this out for themselves. Obviously, wanting to take away the uh, the big ranged cores uh, mm. with the Drow and the Medusa removed from the pool. You seem you know like you've got an idea. I do have an idea. What if they pick Shadow Fiend? A position one Shadow oh. Fiend? Yeah. Mm. It's, uh... Is that playmaky though? I feel it's like It's not about playmaky. It's like if we're look... I don't think there's a catch-all hero that fills everything that we just said they're sure. missing. So if they play really hard into the fact they have two saving supports and like an, an Underlord that can buy you potential aura items, then you can just have a really strong like SF that just stands there and hits things and has his team backing him up. Okay, I, I can understand the strategy for that. That's how like uh, with mid one in the SEA region on SMG, he really likes to play those style of drafts. Like everyone protect me, everyone buff <laughs> me up. But it feels to me like the strat yeah. for that is just go on someone else. You know, ignore the big hero that is being buffed up by everyone. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, towards the start of the draft, I feel like that's exactly what you need to do against this Shadow Demon and the Train Protector. Yeah. So I feel like oh if you take them shit, out, Luna's still in the pool with Shadow Demon. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good as well. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I, I would like either of those. Maybe they have a different option in mind. They're running out of time. I was like, they do not have a lot of time to think <laughs> about it, though. Leave it at the mm, last three seconds. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, that is one of those heroes that is obviously going to be able to take advantage sure. of the stacks that the Shadow Demon is going to be able to build up yep. for you. Uh, and they don't have great taking potential on Na'Vi's side either. So you can probably look to be a little bit more passive with actually when you choose to take those. Yeah, she also gives you the ability to actually do Roche. Mm. which is nice and she pushes towers and she kind of fills all those holes that we were talking about yeah maybe there is a hero maybe there's <laughs> maybe <laughs> but it's, TA. It, it's, it, it's not a playmaker that's the only that's thing that it's lacking right at least she'll buy a blink yes She's absolutely yeah but it still feels like it's going to be an awkward position as to like how are team spirit going to make their macro plays around the map right is it just going to be everyone needs to play behind toronto tokyo is it going to be a pick off into objectives it feels yeah. like it's a little bit difficult to do that because, again, the lack of stuns really does come to the fore for mine. So it feels like they need to be playing heavily around the counter initiation yep. if they're going to have any kind of success. I agree with you. Think Team Spirit's name of the game, hold towers, hold map space, get Toronto Tokyo in the position to get Roche. Navi, go crazy. 
they have they just have so many go in heroes. Go mm. fight, go do stuff. Vatoon get his items, go in. Well, Team Spirit are always surprising us. They're always pulling new things out of the bag, and maybe that's what it's going to take to get this game number two. But we're going to hear from Lyrical and Trent, your casters, for this game. Thank you so much, Nat. Yeah, Trent, it sounds like mm. Dubai is going to be the call for Navi. Um, can I just say, there was a point in last game where I wanted to say something, and I'm like, I'm a broadcaster. I got to keep it classy. But like, oh, what the hell? Why did they draft that garbage? You know, it looked so bad last game from Spirit, but they were able to pull it together. Do you like the drafts anymore? Garbage. Garbage. My goodness. Uh, it was unconventional a little bit yeah. last game in terms of, like, okay. you know, they were missing some pretty key aspects of a, a typical lineup, like the, the more traditional, like carry style hero. And they don't have right. a traditional carry. Uh, this game, as you're going to be no. essentially having the Templar Assassin as your carry, uh, even though the Queen of Pain will be uh, for, for Yadaro. But the idea of just like more sustained right click, not just like fully relying on spells, whereas last game mm -hmm. they kind of had three very spell reliant cores. True. So that does something at least that feels a little bit better. And like there's something that you can look forward to and see is like the, the be all end all. I think an AGS mm -hmm. on TA late game is going to be really nice as we get into this game number two again navi one game away from like keeping these dreams of the major alive they can start pushing for tiebreakers potentially there's a world in which that could happen um we'll have to see what ends up going on though as a uh, quick little smoke out from team spirit they also would love to be able to secure their uh, top placement in the eu as no one Ooh, careful He's going to be slowed down a bit, but the Banish? Does he have orb back up again? He does. Oh, All no one needs blocks. to get out. Tries to go. Oh, gets away. Just barely. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Never concerned, right? Totally knew he'd be fine. Lots of time to run all the way back home. That's good. Yeah. Of course, that does mean you should be uh, seeding quite a bit of map control, and they get the D awards, so pretty solid side there for Team Spirit. Uh, but yeah, as you were saying about the DPC standings now, we actually witnessed just uh, the other night, of course, Beast Coast, sort of a similar situation to Team Spirit in terms of expectations in their region. They dropped a series uh, right. rather unexpectedly. So that has now opened up that whole region to all these different scenarios in terms of like who's going to be finishing where and who might be going to the major and everything. And Team Spirit, you know, if Navi can pull this off, that, that's when you start thinking like maybe it doesn't mess with Spirit specifically, but it's those other teams who are jostling for those potential tiebreakers that want to see Navi win. Right, absolutely. And now we're going to start off with three bounty runes there, able to sneak on in and get one with Aloha Dance. I mean, there is like a world in which it's possible, since I think Team Spirit still have one other big game that's going to get played, uh, where they have to play against, what, Virtus Pro, and uh, I guess that's it. So yeah, unless Virtus Pro can also take them down, um, it's pretty unlikely that they're going to end up getting completely knocked out of everywhere. Uh, but there's a chance. Oh, I guess Hellraisers. Hellraisers is another big one. Um, so there's a chance with those couple of big games and teams getting better towards the end of the season that their their major spot is not guaranteed. Well, I'm sure whatever you just said was very interesting, but I was listening to V Tune dance around on Wraith Kings. So I mean, that's much more. Ba, 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 it's taunt rules. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, how do you release such a good taunt and then reduce the timing on taunts? That's what I want to know. <laughs> also, I've yet to see a Doom with the axe. Maybe that's just my misfortune, but I have not seen you know doom with the giant guitar in a pro game yet that i've got to cast dude i didn't even know that was a thing i need to step it up on my cosmetic you haven't thing. seen the, the axe oh you gotta no, you gotta no, check haven't. it out with the taunt dude you're not in the All know about this. this solo went for the courier snipe and ends up getting his killed instead oh that sucks poor Ooh. guy had a sentry yeah. and a mango on there too so that means yeah. that uh oh, actually he doesn't have to worry about it because he uh he already blocked camp once so that's good well we can uh, take a look down bottom here. Uh, actually, back up top again. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing that we do need to watch for in this lane that is sort of the tale as old as time is the cold feet combo with the uh, Wraith Fire Blast, which obviously don't have access to since uh, Solo starts with the Chilling Touch. But that could be a problem as the levels start to go up a little bit. Chase, they have some good bit. counters, though, right? Like, they're going to have disruption and also just, like, potentially the pit or the fact that it's just collapsed on this huge Underlord. So it's not really the, uh, you know, sometimes you get that lane combo, you're just like, oh, they can't lane. You know, it's they yeah. have no options here. But this one, they've got some tools. Yeah, the big giant slug should be okay. 
<laughs> run what is down it with Solo and uh, and needing the global spells? You know, is he just is he expecting that he just can't be that close to the fights or goes poorly? Because he's been this way for a long time. Yeah, we all get old. You know, we're 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 thirty ish, right? That's mm. How it goes? <laughs> yeah, I think he true. is too. Maybe I'm just spreading misinformation there. Ooh, you know, no he's one. a boomer in the scene, so we can just pretend. That doesn't fair. matter. He's been around, you know. Bruno Tokyo wasn't quite able to get that water rune, and no one with the orb push over to the other side is also <laughs> going to be able to sneak the other one. And eventually we all play for Navi. <laughs> That's right. There you go. <laughs> Dude, he played for him for a couple of times, didn't he? Am I crazy? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's all a blur with Navi, dude. Yeah, it's fair enough. I just assume everyone's been on it by now. I mean, Fog was on Navi, guys. Like, it, it gets around. <laughs> it's contagious. That was Narvi, right? That's different. That doesn't count. Uh, it's still Navi. Okay, just, fair enough. Know, yeah, slip it in there. Russell, Narvi. Yeah. It's like, you know, Ooh. it's like the gods tries to talk about Navi. That's all. Got it. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Well done. Got a couple Aussies on our uh, broadcast right now. I think you're going to make them upset. Um, General gets pushed back. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got nothing no to mess with now. <laughs> yeah, the most in all of uh, all of DPC <laughs> right now. That's a nice little play there, getting the bugs off onto Yadara while also going in with the charge. But it's been a while since we've seen safe lane Quap. I feel like, um, but it seems like kind of a cool game for it, and potential to be at least a lot stronger since the dagger change although actually not going for any points in the dagger just going all scream of pain it's interesting because um templar assassin has always been a hero that has allowed you to be a little bit more flexible in your position one pick because you can pick heroes and also build heroes in a way that's typically more active than your traditional position one because you know you get a lot of the carry tasks and things that you need done for your lineup out of the TA in the mid lane. So you want to be a little bit more active and aggressive, and that's where something like this really makes sense. Um, meanwhile, you know, we're kind of flexing Queen of Pain and Kunk around the, to those lanes anyway, but uh, with them being sort of suitable right now, it just makes sense that Templar Assassin would be, like, one of the best mids with them. Yeah, definitely. And it's, you know, the type of hero that also, with that flex, just makes your draft way more dynamic. Um, likewise, though, there's also Spirit Breaker played in off lane position, I don't know. This one, it definitely looks very uh, strange to me, and I want to see if they can get this this uh, TA off to a hot start, if maybe we see more rotations early uh, from Yadaro to make moves around the map on this Quop, because uh, he is going to be definitely behind in levels compared to uh, the other mids. and No one already at five and a half on this puck. Stacks being built. That's a lot of stacks. That's real good. All right, let me see here. So uh, we're going to have to compare and contrast here with Collapse, I guess, right, for General, and see if okay. he can reach the uh, the great strengths that we saw from the Spirit Bear of Collapse that uh, was absolutely wild. Uh, now, let's see. His his build, uh, to to recall, was Phase into the Kaya Yasha and then the Aghanims, I believe. For the Spirit so, Breaker. Uh, for the Spirit Breaker, yes. Okay. Yeah. It's so we'll see if uh, here. General can do it. General what? opting for double bracer instead. Well, I mean that's just general, you know how he is. Okay. Yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Class went for a uh, a soul ring as well, mm. which was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. B tune laughing himself off. Still no kills already at six minutes. A very chill start to this game, and who gets the rune? It's a haste. Oh, oh it. Aloha dance, quick on the fingers. Very well done. The funny part is you might not even notice because of the... Uh, I think she still had refractions up. Yeah. So it's just like, oh, what the... Oh, that, that's a lot of stacks. Yeah, dude. There, there's there's many. Toronto Tokyo makes the move over and going to clear through these ones very rapidly. Yeah, you see Mira in the mid lane right now. You're just like, uh-oh. We, yeah. we know what TA's up to. But, uh, I mean, what can you do? Got her you can't really contest it with your heroes. Down bottom, they're going on general a little bit. Now try and turn it back the other way, but going to need to take the bugs off of them. Still a good chunk of damage there onto the quad. This is so much gold. Oh, yeah, yeah no one's coming over. He, he's yeah. like, all right, I need to see what's happening here. And is not really going to be able to come and contest this that easily. 
I mean, he does have coil, but yeah, this is just going to be a freebie, it looks like. So yeah, it, it's too easy for the rotations. Oh, he whittled them down so much, and it gets a couple kills right after the seven minute mark, too. So now he gets the uh, the neutrals. Yeah, that's nice. Potentially a genius gamer. Love to see it. So much farm. And yeah, and freaking Mira loves this, too, as a shadow demon, because he was the one stacking yeah. it. So getting extra gold, that's huge. Yeah, it's just like dinging over his head right now. It's like, oh, 35. It's like, oh, 38. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Very good. It's hard to believe that's been nerfed, and it still feels amazing when you play support. I yeah. love having some of the clearest ancients. Well, and then it's also like, getting the lane. Yeah. I mean, you can actually depend on getting, like, arcane boots at a decent time, if you think about it, um, because of that. And collapse, though, up top, likely to fall. Well, I thought with the bugs it would be enough, mm. but they didn't commit. Gets off of him and able to walk away. Aloha Dance making the big lion wrap around, but it's not going to translate into anything. And they have a salve for him afterwards. So Collapse still fine and dandy. Yeah, that like whole series of events, right? Like you take out the, the giant stack that you made. Uh, they keep alive Collapse so he can still farm up top. And they're pressuring mid too. This is all going great for Team Spirit. Aloha Dance going to go in here and put the sentry block down. Uh, it was scouted, though, I think both of those placements because of the obs up on the pillar. So they should be able to just grab these and, yeah, instantly deboard. They're not going to miss a single stack. Damn. Oh, that's... That, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And Mir's like, you that's know why I can afford those? Because <laughs> yeah. I was stacking agents. True. That's a really good point. Yeah. Damn, dude. Not bad. Stay rich, stay rich, man. Toronto is already back in here. Clues at the hard camp. Going to get the stack on the Ancients. Will continue to be quite wealthy. And no one, I mean, playing the puck, just kind of waiting for, you know, some action. Uh, I'd love to go and Dream Claw someone. Maybe General could charge them, but they don't quite have the levels. And there's no aggression to punish coming up from Team Spirit right now. So just sort of chilling. Now, you'd think, though, Puck very good versus both Queen of Pain. Uh, or sorry, Puck very good versus Queen of Pain. Spearbreaker also very good versus Queen of Pain. So I feel right. like that's a good target. Yeah, if you can get the angle right. I mean, I think that's why the strength of Maposhka already going for these three points in Living Armor, though. It makes mm -hmm. it a really hard gank. Um, and also, Yadro is not really playing that far away from the tower, constantly playing close to it. Yeah, could be so, a TP from a disruption, too. And just yeah. suddenly the whole thing's off. Well, so far, so good for Spirit. Likewise, though, like, Navi, they're not, like, getting completely blown out or anything. It's just slightly more efficiency coming from Team Spirit. Well, Clash Mira. continuing his trend from last game, huh? Dude, he gets there in time. Oh my god, it's another triple stack of Ancients and a double stack on Hard Camp. Dude, that, that they're generating a lot of gold. <laughs> it's alchemy, dude. You're making gold out of nothing. Up top, D-Tune, three stacks. Can probably get a fourth. <laughs> Not sure about the fifth, though. Do we do oh, and they blow him! Dude, that is just can't do really anything. good. <laughs> like, if he tries to toggle, he's just going to get busted in the middle of them. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, that's a long cooldown on the ulti. Three minutes. Oh, my God. Trout Tokyo is so huge. Yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> this is crazy. He's, uh, he should just have the Giants ring right now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Symbolically, the highest net worth hero should just always look like Giants ring. No other effects, you know, but we can just really point it out in the game. I think we should make it easier for the viewers. Aloha Dance, centering and standing in the hard camp right now and, and leeching some XP. Yep. A lot of confusion I find around this, guys. You can leech Ancients. Back in the day, you couldn't. Right. That was a thing. But now you can't. So please Ooh. leech Ancients XP. Toronto Tokyo. They find him though. A blast, but they did bring a sentry. Gonna try and get something in turn, but the disruption saved Mira. Trying to keep him alive. Is it gonna be enough? Yeah, Toronto Tokyo. Dude, living through that is so crazy. That was such a big rotation. Well, I mean, it's like you said, he has refractions. Uh, they have living oh. armor, and then you have TP disruption. Dude. That one the hurts. worst part is that you went for it, and what was Collapse doing? Farming. What's Yadro doing? Farming. Farming. Triple net Overgrowth. worth lead right now. Even larger lead than Navi had last game. 
Yeah, I mean, it's 4,000 at, at 12 minutes. Like, yeah, they, they just have... They have no way to punish this at all. Like, they tried to go in with the traps. They tried to go in with their bodies to block okay. it, and where's, it just where's didn't Spearbanger matter. And now, looking for more. Sonic Wave comes out, connects onto four, and still living is Toronto Tokyo. They take down the Pug. They take down the AA. General is in trouble also. Gonna have a third stack and gets brought down by Mira into the Tier 1 tower taken, most likely. Team Spirit... Yeah, they, they, they came to play in game number two. So we got three kills this entire game. And it's a 5k lead, and they take the tier one. Pretty valuable kills. Dude, they are all over it. <laughs> stonks. That is a stonks grab right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Quap is rushing Orchid. Um, God, what do we have? No one's going for this, like, carry route. This is actually pretty good. They should be able to get this kill. Silence out afterwards. Does have a Pit of Malice. Coil going to be dropped. They break that one and ends up dying for it. Well played by Na'Vi. They get on the board. Yeah, you'll take it. You needed something there. Try to get Claps out of your jungle there. Aloha Dance also in here scouting out once more. Oh, oh, gets the kill. Oh, no, the disruption. Yeah, and got him there. Tries to get out. Ulti popped down. They have two stacks right now. Slowed afterwards. Yadoro. Jumps forward, looking for it. Oh, is it going to be enough? Yes, they get the kill. Dude, he had time lapse. Oh, that hurts. The only reason, well, I think if he goes back to, though, like, yeah, well, I don't know. Bad. He is Max Shikuchi. Probably would have been fine, yeah. actually. But yeah, Mira, I, I would have been so tempted to, to uh, deny that OBS. But the fact that he left the OBS and forced him to attack it one more time is why they get that kill. Yeah. So they Here's gave the him the OBS gold, need. but yeah. Poshka going to be found, and v Tune picks up a kill. So, right now, another stack by Mira on the Ancients. Ooh. We're going to check that those uh, numbers after the game, huh? A line yeah. being drawn by Halohan, it's just like, I need, I want to go in there. I need to be there. Mm -hmm. Oh, very Whatever slippery. Time. Nice movement here to get in behind unscouted. Unfortunately, there is still a sentry here. Like, they are putting so much emphasis on trying to shut down this play from toronto tokyo because they but know it's not happening it's just not they, they don't have a way to do it now another sent oh my god and they have it the orchid reveal do it. blows up aloha dance dies to the burn dude I, I don't know i don't know what else to say uh wait for the shadow blade and then uh, okay. go for the plays right shadow blade and deso i guess will be uh their next keys here. Shadow Blade Wait. for General. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, okay. He, uh, never mind. I thought he had it for a second. I was like, wow, that's insane. But no, he, uh, he just took away his Q. Well, unfortunate. Toronto, Tokyo, double meld with Desso and Roche going to drop very rapidly. Still, all this time spent, it's been time that Navi is farmed and they're. Buying up to that next tier of items, trying to get into a Yule Scepter for no one. Uh, General mentioned already, trying to get into his next item. But are they going to be able to bring it all online in time? I feel like Aloha Dance has such a hard role for the rest of this game. Because yeah. there's uh, the Orchid, as you already mentioned, the Queen. There's an Atos on this Underlord. He basically just tries to throw bugs and maybe tank a spell and get his ulti off. It is not going to be easy. But as I long as he can try and take those items away from no one, that would be great. Uh, well, speaking of which, it'll be all right, though. No follow-up, son. Well, oh. it's around Tokyo. God, look how much damage that was on the general. Oh, lordy. Poshka keeps the bottom lane pushed out while Claps pushes out the mid. And still looking. Now, Toronto Tokyo is just going to push this one out afterwards. Trying to rush into that BKB after. For Monster. Yeah, I was still up here uh, looking and hunting. He almost finds Aloha Dance, but Aloha Dance hit a ward and just playing around that. Okay. Uh, I don't like these wards, dude. Aloha Dance is, is very selfishly warding up here. Uh. I just feel like. 
Like he he put the, they already have this ward up here that solo plays, and now he places this one just so he can try and live in this area and keep this wave pushed out. Maybe it works, but your core, he's in trouble. Yeah, and rooted and dead. No one just explodes. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it feels like nothing is going their way. And now General's everybody's got their small together. Okay. He's got that, you know. They're playing this so clean, though. Uh, at the very least, v is getting some me time. You know, he's got his Deso done along with the armlet, trying to get into that Blink Dagger. And then I guess at that point, he's going to feel like he can start getting together for fights. Meanwhile, Sonic Wave, though. Oh, my goodness. Just gets exploded. They're bleeding kills. They're losing towers. Uh, Navi just don't have a way to play. And the worst part is, drops. they're just going to five, man, a lot on Team Spirit. And then, yeah. like, so the Spirit Breaker, obviously, into five, uh, five hero Dota feels pretty awful. And on top of that, they also have the TP disruption and the living armor that we've talked about before. So, and you're in a network deficit, which is also pretty hard with Spirit Breaker. Right. But uh, there we go. Uh, we have the Shadow Blade coming out as the pipe is finished on the Underlord. So, one offensive tool for Navi, you know. Pretty underused defensive one here for class, but always pretty good versus the uh, the AA and the POC as scouting Maposhka will go down and yeah, they, they throw down a sentry, but he did not drop an OBS yet. Yaro has been on the hunt for a long time for Aloha Dance. He's cut through all the way from basically the triangle and wrapped around and ran back to him, but can't find him. So good play by Aloha Dance. Find a little bit of extra time for his team. I, I just don't see where they're going to find these pickoffs unless it's something like Maposhka playing really far forward. They need to channel their team spirit from last game. You know what I mean? That's mm. it's basically a, a very similar situation where it just feels like you can't make plays and you're uh, you're holding out for some situation that, where the fight can go your way. And that uh, last time, of course, was the, uh, the second Roche. Team Spirit did that pretty successfully, even though Navi were able to eventually win the game. Maybe they can find something similar. Aloha Dance, as you, as you said, Playing pretty well. I, I love the way he's in the back line. It's really his only choice right now. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they have quite enough heroes to uh, to really hold back this storm. Right. Well, holding on to the outposts are definitely nice. And the, the lead is not expanding, which is at least something going good for Navi. Like, V-Tune is keeping up in farm with this TA. Uh, and, you know, now having that blink done, there's a chance that he can maybe join some of these fights. And if they can just hold people in place, it's going to be nice. Loha Dance passes by him. Ooh, sneaky. He thought about it. Adoro keeps on chasing, dude. This is, uh, he's just been on bug duty. <laughs> Draw took it was just been like, Hitting creeps the entire game. That's 300 yeah. CS now at 20 minutes. Remember we thought like 200 was good for that? Yeah, I mean, that's just the way of it, right? <laughs> like, he's so freaking nutty farm. I wonder if he like goes to an early Aghanim Scepter after Blink. Like, he can pretty much buy whatever he feels like. Yeah. But, you, I mean, why buy Ags when you're going to get it from Roche anyway? That's true. They don't plan on winning this game early. You know, they're having fun. Oh, they got him. Oh, my God, the Atos. This is not the way they wanted B2 to join the fights. Trying to run away. Get out of there. Oh, but one last hit. It blows them up. That's first life down. Sonic Wave afterwards with the Orchid looking for more. He has not got to cast a spell or hit a hero. I would not be shocked if Wraith King's damage is like sub 2K right now. And uh, that one hurts. Hmm. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you know, you get some good games and you get some rough games. Last game was a good game. Yeah. <laughs> this one I'll leave up to you all to decide. <laughs> oh, when when man. your mid hero feels safe doing this, you know, that, that's a problem at 21 right. minutes. Just like, yeah, I'm just going to go poke their base, see what's up. Hey, good snipe. Got well done, well done. Uh, courier after he's been hunting him the whole game. A little bit of vengeance there from Aloha Dance. Yeah. Aloha Dance has definitely been the one 
making the most amount of space possible in this game. And you know, it looks like uh -oh. he is finally going to get found here. Oh, most likely. Trying to run away. Yeah. Wherever you run, little bug. Get on over here. Wait, does he juke Wait, it? What? Oh, my God. Did they he... juked it. <laughs> he juked it. Never mind. Sonic Wave, not available. Gets out. What a player. Dude, that's the space created right there. I like that. Jumps forward. They find one in the triangle. Oh, it's v Tune again, and he doesn't have his ulti for 30 more seconds. Space created for what? Oh, no. That hurts. And they finally... Wait, what? Yadaro goes down up top. Oh, that's a big kill. That was a nice capitalization, the fact that like they saw those heroes down bottom. He's pretty far away from the tower. Hard to get the actual saves there in time. So, yeah, that's exactly the kind of play that they're trying to find right now from Na'Vi. And uh, the only way you can use the Spirit Breaker, right? You have to find them when they're not playing as five. Right. Not about the overgrowth. Decides not to. And Team Spirit. They have a little bit of hubris here. General's yeah. almost got BKB. I'm actually very surprised how close he is to uh, to Yadaro this game. Yeah. Because he spent Honestly, so much good. time, as you said, just like yeah, hunting, right? Like, mm -hmm. where's General even getting his gold, though? I can't believe he has so many last hits. I think he's killing waves, I guess. B tune. Spots one. It's the jump, but the save is there afterwards. Disruption, but it might be just to his own death. Although, claps, he gets the ulti off. Oh my god, they're going to get out. Unreal. Oh, that's annoying. Underlord, still a pretty good hero. Jeez, he almost, uh, he almost got rooted there. Yeah. He thought they had vision because of that. Or maybe they did a vision. I don't even know. Loha dance. Gets found. Gets rooted. Oh, Time yeah. lapse. Oh my God. He saw him on that sentry trap combo. That's right. Yeah. General. Good. Shadow Blade and then the get out. Dude, Navi are doing it. This is actually so impressive, the way that they're playing this. And, like, that kill on to uh, onto Yadaro was just so clutch. No time lapse, though, and the Yule Scepter will not be able to save Aloha Dance here, but maybe Sakuchi out afterwards will. <laughs> and he gets away. Dude, hey, Aloha Dance no MVP. Yeah, part of this is they, I mean, much like what happened with Na'Vi last game, Spirit, they don't have any bots, um, and they don't have, like, amazing pushing. I don't know. It's, it, I guess it's not so much that they don't have amazing pushing. It's just, like, there's no benefits going high ground at this point in the game. So uh, right. it's a combination of, like, they don't want to be alone because they don't want to see this pickoff potential from the Spirit Breaker. Yadro, this... Potentially a kill with the Sonic Wave here. If he gets it down before the uh, Soul Murder, he doesn't opt for it. Oh, gets it after anyway. Damn. All right. Nice. Nice play. Oh, oh bud. There's a ward down, so he scouted it. Yeah, yeah. Maposhka came in and put that sentry over there during that. That nice. was nice. Still, I mean, they're getting these kills back, like, behind uh, Team Spirit's Tier 2 towers. Yeah, he gives them the tip afterwards. Although, oh, ooh, Puck dying right here would be bad. Blinks away. Jump in, Yadaro, silence, and another nine. Oh, but they get the ulti off. Big plays. And wants to jump away. Not going to happen. No one finally going to get caught out as well. But the BKB is done for Spirit Breaker. They've bought enough time where they're like, this net worth lead is, while still big, is not like backbreaking. I was just thinking, I hope Class buys a blink. Because this is the kind of game where you just need a blink. I don't care what hero you are. You just, like, just buy it. Because you know what they're yeah. trying to do. Like, you just did it to them last game. So just uh, get more mobility. Yadaro. Yadaro. Stunned. Dead. Again. Dude, Na'Vi. Uh, Listen, if they can win the, a type vision, of game dude. like yesterday, or like, not yesterday, like game number one, and then also one where they were this that far long. behind. All right. <laughs> we, didn't, like, we didn't cross the date line. That is huge. But... Team Spirit, this is going to be the big test. They're coming in to take down Roche. And a DD on TA. This one should be a freebie. So, a couple big reveals here for Team Spirit. The Aghanim Shard, 
given over to the TA and also has the hex completed. All right, and but there really isn't an answer. What are you gonna do when Toronto Tokyo comes high ground with a solar crest on him? I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, Ooh, uh, they got that was close. Things. He almost got Atos there. I don't know why they scanned there. That's funny. I guess to make sure he left and didn't just like keep chasing him. Yeah, maybe. I guess also want to, they want to keep this uh, creep wave alive. What's the other thing? Yeah, they're coming to escort it now. In the meantime, General's pushing bottom. And we'll see if he's able to take it or not. No, they're just going to move on in and try and cut through this wave. Glyph afterwards. Skeletons summoned, but the creep wave is fully dead. And they're catching no. it on the other side. Guess who it is? That's so annoying. Dude, he's oh, having no. a hell of a game. One job. This is like when Puck was playing, or uh, when Puppy was playing the five Puck and doing these sort of plays. Root, they find one. It's a spirit breaker. BKB doesn't have a TP. Needs to wait for that charge to be back up again. He's in some trouble. Gets hit by the ulti, charging away oh, so no. slow. And General Shadow Blade tries to run. Ain't gonna happen. Meanwhile, Step they too far oh. there. They do spot V-Tune. They're gonna go for this one. He's in some trouble. Has a BKB, but the Hex is out. Jump forward, Coil connects onto two A blasts afterwards. They're going to try and bring in one, but is it going to be enough? No, dead one time. Claps is there for afterwards. Round two of this one now. Throws out that stun, but can't stay on target. v tune dead. Big wins here for Spirit as they also find Solo as he is going to be able to finish his TP. Aloha Dance going to take him on a little merry ride, but they take down that Wraith King again. Man, he really didn't believe in the BKB stun on Queen, did he? I, no. I thought for sure he was going to BKB. But, I mean, yeah, I get not wanting to use it before your ulti, but it felt like maybe they had an opportunity to actually kill. And Yules. Oh, more kills, though. Has the time lapse, and then the run oh, away. Wait. Dude, a, a low dance trying to live ain't going to happen. <laughs> that oh, that my same God. Century. Yeah. It's value. Got him again. You should have uh, kill markers on these things, you know? Oh, yeah. Team Spirit doing a good job of keeping themselves out on the map. But Navi likewise are postponing this as long as possible. It's crazy how much work they've done on Navi, particularly Aloha Dance, and it's still a 9k lead at 30 minutes, and they have a uh, second Roche for another like minute and a half. Like, It's a hard... They had a huge deficit. <laughs> Yeah. They were very far behind. Like blank Scythe. I mean, they can just go high ground right now. Oh, there's the disruption. disruption. This is a good way to start. Come on. Stop hitting Ancient Strong Tokyo. The, the silence afterwards. And v -tune. Hexed. Chased. v -tune gets brought down one time. Can they do it again? BKB wants to run away. The root is there afterwards. The stun A blast trying to turn it, but it ain't going to happen. They take down v -tune again. The BKB delivered for Yadaro God. Here comes the catapult. They're moving. 30 minutes has arrived. They're going Jump in. Jump forward, Hex. They got him. No one dead yet again. Big old root comes down. Buyback from the puck afterwards. Aloha Dance gets the time lapse away. They take down TA one time. They do it again. Second round of this one. Solo doesn't have much left in the tank. Good charge through onto three, but the blink out comes afterwards. Toronto Tokyo buying a little bit of extra space. Good Yule Scepter dodging the damage. Has the Orchid afterwards, but instead gets caught. Yadaro in trouble. Going to die. So they find a pickoff. Much needed. And Tier 3 Tower still stands. Granted, it's still a lead that's growing since the Wraith King went down. But they're able to find picks here and there. Cost them one buyback as well. They're on the puck. So bit of a punish, but... Uh... Game still going. That easily could have been an entire Rax if they play that fight uh, any poorly or any more poorly. Any poorer. That's really good, Trey. They play that fight poorly. <laughs> You're doing great. I love this. English stinks. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's kind of poopy. Oh, Loa Dance. 
Gonna get brought down there. V2, oh no. Oh, V2, no. Popping ulti afterwards. The purple glow. Oh, getting together and being pulled out. Oh, there you Gone. Go. You, were, you were getting a little uh, techno bop on me there for a second there, bud. Uh oh. That's no good. Uh, you're good now. Nice and great. Don't worry. Perfect. Yeah, I'm sure you were just downloading the latest patch for Dota. <laughs> Is it coming That's out? Probably all it was, right? Yeah, yeah, today. I want some map changes. Yeah, they're uh, they're just gonna get rid of the ancients. They're gonna put them both in the middle. New experience. I like that. Found one mid. General BKB TP out. Can't they kill him? Yes, they can. Like Bob the Builder, General Two will fall. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Oh, two minutes till it's capable of respawning. But. 18 to 6. Team Spirit. It hasn't looked that much in doubt over the past couple minutes in particular. It was looking good there for a little bit for Navi when they're starting to make a comeback happen, but it was looking possible. Yes. There was a chance. There was hope. Now the hope is looking uh rather dwindled. There's there's mm. a little bit of pessimism I hear uh, I feel here. And now for the least valuable Radio towers in Dota. Yeah. <laughs> the dire tier two and tier one. Well, they, just... they have also, I mean, like, not really been able to push high ground. I wonder, like, what's the play for Navi? Do you just try and, like, sneak Roche or something? I don't know. You, uh, yeah, you just try and blow up the waves, wait for the Roche, see if you can uh, push in uh, another lane and catch someone with Spirit Breaker when they're all trying to pause you around Roche, like someone TPs back to cover or whatever. Mm. I feel like that's the play. Keep trying to cut waves with the Aloha Dance. Unfortunately, they're bringing a lot of heroes here. They know. They see them. And looking for the Hex. Can't quite find it. He's away. Dude, Aloha Dance. So much time has been spent on oh, him. Oh, here we go. Oh. They're hoping they chase oh. him. So, yeah, they're smoking past him. They have the charge on TA. They see her. Jumps in. Stun. Follow up there. Trying to get out with the ulti, though. Collapse. Able to help his buddy. Wait, they cancel? Cancels. They turn? They want to fight this? Oh, Navi, what have you gone yourself into here? Spirit Breaker still doing a lot, and they actually kill off the TA. Dead for 90. Spirit Breaker will fall, but able to get B2 afterwards. No, they got him controlled, and he is going to drop. So two for one so far, and going to be a third most likely as Aloha Dance gets disrupted, and eventually Yule Scepter has the coochie afterwards, but no. Atos is there, dead. <laughs> There's just too much stuff. Once you're yeah. on your own like that. An another big kill, though. It actually ends up being pretty even. Wait, the what? Gold change. That, that, that can't be real. <laughs> it didn't count the Weaver, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. You're right. Yeah. So that is pretty ridiculous. Right. Oh, and Solo got the kill. Oh, man. He got the 5x kill streak on the AA. Not great, but maybe getting another defensive item here. Almost has a Lotus there. Now actually done, so take that. That's good. Whatever you can get at this point is beneficial. A little bit of casual voice lines back and forth. Uh, Hex is the call for no one also. I don't know. It's, it's just looking so tough. V-Tune is not keeping up in the way he needs to at this point in the game and everybody else is really far behind too maybe uh no one can hex them and tp away you know and just, okay. <laughs> just get out of there <laughs> is that the uh is that the call That's the way yeah to go? hex blank tp get the hell out <laughs> oh, i'm pretty sure uh this is gonna be a dead weaver here bring him down Eventually, the fun has to stop for the Weaver. Oh, well, we have the fun of a refresher shard here in the brush pit, as you can see. Oh. A little disappointing. Definitely was hoping for uh, an X. Ooh, general. Double catapult wave. They do have glyph. So that's going to be a little annoying here, but might still be able to get some damage on and actually collapse, making the move all the way over. Yeah, they take that down. And this is one of those moments that uh, you could at least try and angle for as Navi, but unfortunately, they're going to miss out 
on any chance of fighting around the Roche, but his collapse will uh, not even be punished for being solo versus those uh, double catapults as the rest of Navi is going to back away. So, Team Spirit, they're ready to just merge it down again, I reckon. Yeah. Yep, True enough. I'm reckoning. They are the reckoning of Navi. That's what I reckon. <laughs> okay. It's, it's good, yep. Trent. They're going to wreck them. <laughs> wreck it, Ralph. That's right. That's also a thing. Loha Dance throws the bugs. So annoying. Uh, but they do have the double refresher, or rather just the one-time refresher from Yaro, but uh, double Sonic Wave sounds pretty sick. They're charging the wave again. They just keep cutting them, but they don't have anything to deal with the wave mid. Drops down the pit. Ready to go. Jump forward. Hex. Hey, but the Lotus. That's pretty good. Disruption afterwards, though. That's a solid save. Afterwards, nice. leashed up. Tries to walk away with that BKB. And well, just like that, Toronto Tokyo going to be fine and dandy. But wow. doesn't have BKB for 70. I respect that BKB. Yeah. It would have been very tempting to not BKB there. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you know, you have the Aegis and you're like, ah, I can probably live through this. I want to go back again. Oh, we need a uh, a reboot on the old PC. Okay, interesting. Very good, very good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, they need all the frames they can get, man, <laughs> you know? Whatever it can get. Absolutely. Dude, Shadow Demon has Ags now, too. I didn't even see that one. That is hella scary. Goodness gracious. I don't know. Even without the BKB, I don't know if they need to leave. Like, they use Coil. They used AA Blast. Maybe they still do. It's probably still too scary uh, I, just to stick around. They have three and a half minutes. They could just poke a little bit less, you know? They right. could just, like, hold top wave and bottom wave and wait till someone shows a little bit more. Because their actual distanced wave clear is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. It's basically Illusory Orb. And I mean, the other thing too is that like once BKB is popped, I don't know how you get through the plus eight refraction instance. Yeah, yes, I, I see that <laughs> being pointed out. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, the melt dispels and there's plus eight refraction instances, which is one busted talent. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. And a ring of Aquila. I mean, to just further talk about how insane this TA is. Yeah, why do you still have Aquila? There's an Elven tunic. What the hell? Because she's unstoppable. I guess. How are you gonna give armor damage. to your allies? Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing them go for tier four items either. To be fair. Reason of question? <laughs> what? What's the reason? Oh, reason from Aloha Dance. I see. Trying to get in their heads a little bit. All right. Alrighty. Back let's do it. Do. All right, oh. I'm going <laughs> to guess that Navi has a 2% Dota buff. All right, Dota, uh, Dota plus one, one percentage right now. Thoughts? Two? Uh, I think you're wrong, but I also cheated and looked at it. Oh, damn, it was eight, really? Yeah. That, that is optimistic. Well done, Dota plus. Yeah. Well done, Navi. Oh. Ooh. Radiant. No one. Hello. All right. Let's see. Does he break the Aeon? Or is he like, oh, he did it. He did it. Ooh. He assembled. He <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> I was like, nah, he won't do it. He's dead anyway when he went for it. Oh, no. Well, sometimes those things happen. Loha Dance found. Time lapses away immediately. They get the next round of items. What are they going to pick up now? So we've got Timeless Relic for the TA, actually. Interesting. Does that increase spill damage? It off. Oh, okay. She, she was just waiting. Yeah, yeah. Takes Flicker instead. Good call. Looking for a target. They immediately D-Ward that one. And 
and ready to walk up high ground with this DD. General found. Tries to run away. That's going to be Glyph. Round number one. Toronto Tokyo still has Refraction. Pops it now. Doesn't have to worry about that much. Walks forward, gets a couple hits off, and... Ooh, actually, oh going to get disrupted, but still living. Second round of this Firestorm out. Sonic Wave. Do they go for another one? Nice can if they want to, but it's double buyback. And Toronto Tokyo four staff to the low ground. Allies helping him out there. Maposhka gets his mid out of dodge. Second round of this one as they're ready to go high ground again. It's such a patient siege overall here. As, uh, like Toronto, Ooh. he's making these little aggressive dives, but he's so much confidence in the saves. Yeah, they're right there. Disruption comes out afterwards. Good coil. Broke the coil. Maybe in a little bit of trouble. They don't have another disruption. General brought down low, but not dead yet. They take down the TA. Wraith King coming back in a second as well. Big ice blast coming through, but V-Tune eventually going to get ripped through. They find themselves this AA. He too will fall. And one by one, they get brought down. Sonic Wave to close it out. And GG is called. Team Spirit, they strike back in a big old way here. Take it down, Navi, in game two. That was 41 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> I seriously thought I was going to say, like, 25. Like, even though I know we just did tier fours. Uh, yeah. Wow. Those are two teams unwilling to uh, to GG early. They no. they really made them, uh, them work for it and fight hard for it. This one a little bit easier, I would say, obviously, as it ended quite a bit quicker and uh, some some more difficult tools to try and execute such a, a long defense with. But nonetheless, Na'Vi still still showing some ch some chops, I guess we'll say, 27-7. It was Na'Vi. a rough game. It was it was a rough game. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Maposhka did more damage than almost all of their heroes, including almost more damage than V-Tune. That sounds about right. <laughs> on the train protector, but uh, that's sometimes just how it goes. Um, I think we just chalked that one up to run again. And I mean, Team Spirit looking good. Uh, looking very, very solid. Navi, you're going to have to dig deep. Any thoughts for what you really want to see going into game three? Uh, well, I think this game just got away with them or got away from them pretty quickly. And a lot of that coming from the, uh, the ancients, obviously like yeah. that's sort of where it all began. And, and it felt like they tried to make an effort to get in there and contest. I guess they probably just need to be more like they, they put some effort into it, but they didn't bring everyone. They didn't bring general. Like, I feel like right. general didn't even get to play this game as the spirit breaker, even though they were making some of these aggressive moves early. Aloha dance in behind making these plays by himself. That's cool and all, but if you're going to win this game, you need to do some like, combo stuff you're gonna need like no one is there aloha dance there is generals there and you're throwing ice blasts we didn't really see that we just saw like oh kill the creep wave and keep this game going right uh, it was uh impressive showing uh by team spirit to just prioritize that and make sure that they always had those ancients available we'll see if uh any changes happen in the draft for game number three but for now we're gonna go a quick break when we get back the panel's gonna break it all down we'll see y'all then